This should come as a surprise to absolutely no one, but as a video editor, I pay for subscription stock video sites like Envato Elements. And it's not just cheesy stock footage from my videos where I like to stick my face on them, because believe me, I like those, but it's also to get graphics and like overlays, film burns, film little bits and sauce pieces to put on videos that I'm editing for other people. In fact, that's one of the best use cases of stock footage sites, which I don't know why no one is ever told to say that in their sponsorship videos, but just putting it out there in Vado, if you wanna sponsor me, I know how to make a bitch and sponsor video that'll actually get people to wanna to use your shit. But here I am getting off on tangents. The whole point of today's video is simple. Sometimes these stock sites don't have exactly what you're looking for and you need to go make it yourself. And lo and behold, I have a new favorite way of doing this and it's so damn easy, you can do it while you're pooping. And I'm not saying that jokingly because I make these on my phone with a little app called Procreate Pocket. Let's jump right in. I'm going to screen record and show you guys how to do this. I love that movie so much. So beautiful. Okay, so first things first, we need to make a new canvas. I just do my screen size. It doesn't matter if it's exactly 16 by 9, it's fine. But then go up here to modify, hit the little wrench, go to video. Nope, not video. Sorry. Go to canvas animation assist turn that sucker on now here you're going to get a frame what you want to do then is go back up to your brushes i usually pick something like snow or i go over here to organic let's see let's just pick ooh, let's do like this hessian one let's see what we can do with with this little guy right here now what i really like to do is turn the let's, let's actually blast the size up to about eh, let's do like 27 percent pressure i turn it down really low and let's just see what this looks like yeah that's not enough so let's do like 25 percent okay that yes this is gonna pff, this is gonna be perfect so there you go there's let's just call that first frame let's add a frame and then let's draw in this corner let's draw in this corner let's draw in there let's draw there Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now we didn't do very much in the middle. Let's do some in the middle. Let's do a little bit around the edges. Let's let's add another one. Let's do this, let's do that, whatever, you name it. Let's do this, let's do that. Okay, we're gonna kind of spritz it up. Let's just keep going. We're gonna keep adding frames and we're gonna just keep drawing randomly. And you know, no real rhyme or reason. Just try not to make it the exact same every time want to get some good textures in there maybe this frame we mix up the size and go smaller so that suddenly we've got even more variety next frame let's make the size bigger okay let's oh yeah let's do that now just to see how we're doing let's hit play and it's a little bit fast so go to settings i usually do frames per second to like eight and I don't know. I think that's a pretty sweet little organic looking overlay if you ask me. Pause that, go up to the modify corner, hit the wrench, go to share, share those layers, and we want to share it as an animated MP4, 8 frames per second, hit export. At this point then you want to airdrop it to your computer and you've done it. Just like that you've made a brand new cool looking organic overlay. One quick little side note, in this video we had kind of a white background with black on top for using the screen effect when you're editing which kind of like puts the texture on top. What I highly recommend is to actually do a black background with white as your brush color and it allows you to again put that as a top layer and then for the blend mode make sure you set that to screen and then it'll just stick it right on top procreate pocket is like five bucks i think in my opinion well worth it i have loved the app ever since i downloaded it a couple of days ago all right well i hope that was helpful and i'm gonna go get back to editing